are on lockdown right now inside your math class. Uh, we're looking at yes. live pictures, I should tell you right now. Matthew, tell me what it is that happened. Jonathan. Jonathan, sorry. Jonathan, tell me what it is that happened. Um, supposedly I heard about a couple of people got shot about seven or so. One person is supposedly dead, what I've heard. Um, it first started off, I heard that someone put a gun against their head, and I thought it was one person that got hurt trying to maybe get the gun. I'm not really sure. Um, it's pretty much mainly all I know at the moment. I'm still a little shaken up <laughs> by even happening. I didn't think it would really happen. Um, it happened in the uh, art hallway, and that's pretty much all I know at the moment. Did you hear gunshots, Jonathan? Um, I'm surprised I didn't, but um, we're quite a bit of ways away from the art hallway, but the school's pretty close, so I'm really surprised I didn't hear it. What are you hearing right now from school officials? What are you being told to do? Um, right now, the, the police were going through classrooms and checking, making sure students are safe. And um, soon we're going to be escorted out of the school, so I'm not sure how long or I could stay on the phone. Mm -hmm. But um, so they told us to leave our stuff in the classroom as we're going to be escorted by the, the police, and everything responded really quickly. So and, and I'm John really happy about that. Yeah. Jonathan, is this something that you have done training for in your school? Um, a couple times. I didn't really expect for this to happen. Um, I do feel safe, though, because they always have police in our school, and uh, they're ready for something like this. It's something they couldn't really prevent because they have a couple officers, but they're really well-trained officers. And uh, there could have been more casualties, which I'm glad there wasn't. Everyone's well-trained for it. And have you been told that the event is over and that you are safe as far as you know at this moment? Uh, as far as this point, yes, I know I'm safe. Uh, they had a lot of officers respond. Uh, some classrooms can see outside the school. Um, ambulances, fire trucks, everything. Everyone responded. It was probably like five minutes. I already heard sirens outside the school. And you and the students who are in that room right now, what's this last yeah. hour been like for you? Uh, really curiosity. Um, People are trying to find out what happened still because it's still kind of like closed off. We can't go anywhere, so we're just stuck in a classroom trying to find out social media. Maybe it will happen on Snapchat or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It spreads like a wildfire. So. And, and so you say you're in your math class now. Yes. What, is your, what has your teacher been saying to you? I mean, what's the, the discussion? You all are, are getting to on social media, seeing what you can find. Um, what's the conversation with your teacher at this point? Um, he's really casually wants to make sure the students are calm. No one's really like crying or anything at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, I know there's people traumatized, and I'm not sure who it happened to, but I'm, hopefully they're okay or will be okay. But uh, he's very supportive about this. Well, look, we know we're glad you have the teacher. We're glad you have each other right now, and we are glad you are safe. Uh, it's about nine mm -hmm. o'clock in the east right now. What time do yeah. you believe that the shooting happened? Um. About like eight twenty, eight fifteen or so. It happened fairly quickly, right when school started. There. And what time does school start? Uh, it starts about eight o'clock. So eight o'clock. So um, not long after school started. It, yeah, it went. It went pretty quickly. And, um, and the halls are usually really crowded by then. So if there was something to happen to respond, it's not easy to get to. And and again, the, the word you are getting is how many yeah. people are hurt? Uh, seven. Se last time I heard. Seven people hurt. Is yeah, that... at first I heard one, but we might have to go because the police are outside the door right now. The police are outside the door right now, and you're being yeah. let out. Yes. Okay, Jonathan. Jonathan Fries on the phone with us, a senior uh, at the Great Mills High School. Jonathan, can you stay on the phone with us as you walk out? All right, we lost Jonathan. Hey, good. 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 Can I come in? Good job. Yeah. You okay? Everybody good? Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Anybody need medical treatment? No. All right. Good. 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 Good.
I'm WBAL's Phil Yakabuski here at Great Mills High School in Southern Maryland, where this school shooting happened this morning. Over at Leonardtown High School, which is just a few miles from here, uh, the students were being picked up uh, by their parents, many of them describing what happened this morning when they first heard about the school shooting this morning. They say they were locked down in their classrooms and they uh, waited until the all clear was given. Uh, many of them saying this was very scary for them. They were texting with their parents, telling them they were okay. Uh, and one student talked with us about what he heard. Uh, yeah, I saw her all like the police that came and busted down the door and then attended to the guy leg and then we went into another classroom. You saw somebody who had been shot lying yes. on the floor? Yes. Were they bleeding? What did it yes, look like? Yes, they were bleeding. And then one of my teachers helped them like onto the floor and started applying pressure to his uh, gun room. When you first heard that gunshot, what went through your head? Uh, why would they do that? And what he do to deserve that? Yeah. Again, once the school shooting happened, those kids were locked down inside of their classrooms until the all clear was given. We'll have the latest here this afternoon on WBAL.com and WBAL News Radio 1090.